Hi everybody, it's Ray here from eLearning Complete. In this short little video tutorial, I'm just going to take you through our new plugin that we've just launched called the Quiz Embed for LearnDash. And um, what it really does is it actually just embeds quizzes directly in a lesson or a topic page. Now, um, there is a little sales page that you can go and read up a little bit more about it. But what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to take you uh, straight into a little course and just show you how the plugin works. So um, I've now enrolled myself into a course and let me go and click on my little course. And here we have I'm now enrolled and this is the course home page. Then we scroll down and we'll have a look at the course content. So um, Learn Dash now has you can see that there are two uh, you can see in this lesson there are two topics and there are two quizzes and the same with this one. Now if we expand this drop down box you can see that the topic has a quiz the topic has a quiz and then we see we've got two to quizzes here and this is where we've applied the quiz embed and we'll get to that a little bit in a moment and then if we look down at the bottom over here we'll see that this one has a topic and a topic and you do not see the quiz links so let's see how this all works so we have no choice this is a linear course progression and we need to now follow the course in the exact order so this is now a, a, a lesson progression a forced lesson a video progression has been setting so we have to now watch the video before we can jump and go and do the activity or the uh, the quiz so we'll do the lesson i'm just going to skip past that very quickly and once it's done right and now you can see it opens up a little drop down and then it says now go and take your quiz so we're going to click on the quiz which then takes you to a whole new page and then you've got to click and start the quiz so we'll just answer this question in the shared questions options you must disable the setting false you you must enable it so we'll just mark it complete and there's our result and we now move on then obviously it will mark these two complete and then it'll take us to the next lesson So now you can see we are now in lesson two and we can see that there are two topics and each topic has a quiz. This is now forced lesson progression again. So if we look here, we can't go any further until we've watched this video. So we'll do the same thing again. I'll just skip past it, just fast forward it. And as soon as it finishes, then you can see the lesson content below showing us the, the topics and the quizzes associated with each one. So what we're going to do is we'll click on the first topic. And we'll again, this is now forced lesson progression. So I do apologize, but this is the... And then we'll fast forward it. Now, when this after the video is uh, completed you'll see it creates this little box called quizzes so it's this extra step that you now need to take to drive you away from this page where you then have to go and complete this little quiz so we'll go in and then it says this question title is only the question title is only for internal use and we say true let's just mark it complete and as soon as it's done we'll click here to continue so we're now in the next topic. Again, we'll do lesson progression again. Seems that a lot of people are doing it within the group and the courses. So that's a good thing or a bad thing. And then if we look down the bottom, I now know to take the extra step after the video is completed. Go in, click the quiz to drive me to a whole new page just to go and do the quiz. So points are only awarded when the question is answered correctly. We'll say true finish so now we get the results and we now can progress now we are going to now look at mainly the how the quiz embed looks so now you've got the idea of how this actually works so let's just um the default system in learn dash and we can see um we are now in a lesson and we can see in this lesson we have two topics so we have to now complete this lesson. So let's just mark this. Um, let's just do the video progression on this one. And we'll complete the video. And as soon as the video is complete, 
it gives us the option for our lesson content where we have two topics and we do not see any quizzes. Now watch what happens. When we click on the topic, we can see this is a topic page. We've got all the content on this page, but by miracle, we've now missed that little box that says we have to go and click a quiz and over here we have now the start quiz so this quiz that extra step has now been added directly onto the topic page so now we can go ahead and we can take the quiz directly on this page and if we look at it click all the options that apply that are sorry the options about single choice questions and what I'm going to do is I'm deliberately going to fail this just to show you something. And we can see we can't progress any further. So we're just going to just add, just click on this. And the last option, and let's see what happens. So we can see I can't progress any further, and I need to now retake this quiz. So let's retake the quiz. And as soon as it starts, and we'll mark the first three correct. Now let's click Finish the quiz. And as soon as it's finished, we'll see, okay, we got it correct, and now we can progress. See, we don't have a mark complete button anymore. It's the click here to continue is uh, controlling everything or the, the quiz. So we'll click on the click here to continue, and it should take us to topic two. And there we are, we're in topic two. Now, what's interesting to note is that topic two actually does not have any content on the page. The only thing that is embedded on this page is the quiz. So normally you would have to create a topic and then there would be a link that you would need to then click to go to a quiz. So that has now been all removed and the user can now take the quiz directly on a, on a topic page. So we'll just go and so let's just go and answer this. Hints are available for all question types. They are not optional. Uh, uh, they are not optional and you must use hints at all times, which is false. So we'll just click on finish. Right, and there we are. They are. Then we can go and now complete. Click to complete. Now we're in the final lesson. Again, uh, sometimes a lot of people want to use surveys, uh, and, the, and LearnDash has a great survey uh, option, but um, a lot of people just don't use it, or they just don't want people to know that they're doing a quiz. And as we can see, we're here. Yeah, uh, this is the content for this topic, and then below that, we've automatically started the quiz to appear to show up on these on this lesson page so if we look here we'll go in and we'll just mark so we'll do the survey so we have to do the survey and we'll go in and just do the survey to mark this topic complete and we'll finish and there you can see we have now completed and we'll click here to continue to complete the course. So what is it, what do, let's just uh, re, uh, go, uh, take a step back and just have a look at what we've actually done. If we look here and we go to the lesson two again, um, you'll see that it shows you a lesson content box. But if we look at the ones that, and you'll see that there are these little extra quiz links. And in this one, all we've done is we're now only showing the, the topics, we're not showing the quiz links. And, um, and then let's just go back to this one over here. And I want to show you how this is all gets set up. So we're going to go into the back end of this quiz. And if we look here, uh, we're in the quiz embed final lesson. Um, you will see we're in quizzes. We'll go to the, uh, the, choose the quiz and then click on the settings for this quiz and then scroll all the way down to the bottom. And once our plugin has been activated, you'll see this new little quiz embed settings heading. And it's over here that you go in and you activate the little checkbox and it will eventually, it will first look like this. You enable it and, and that's all you need to do. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna disable it right now and we're gonna update this. Now I wanna show you what this if I reload this page, what will happen? Right, so now you can see it's now not embedded directly onto this page. We then have to review the topic, click on the quiz embed to then go and, and then complete the quiz, which is that extra step. 
So I'm hoping that a lot of you will find the benefits in this. So for just quickly for now, I'll just go and reactivate this update. And you would do this for every single quiz. So it's not a global thing. So you've got a lot. So you've got more control over this. So let's just reload this page. And the quiz is automatically starting and it's directly embedded on that page without having to go and do those extra clicks. Uh, we hope that you uh, um, take advantage of this uh, special that we have at the moment. And we will have be, we will have more video tutorials on the quiz embed. But for now, we'll just uh, and then we'll we'll keep up to date with you. Thank you.